The death toll in Israel and Gaza is mounting, including the number of, of Americans now confirmed dead. Israel has just formed a wartime cabinet to avenge the horrific attack by Hamas militants. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell joins us now with the latest developments, including how the U.S. is working to get Americans out of that area safely. Well, Israeli President Benjamin Netanyahu calling Hamas ISIS, saying they will be defeated like the world defeated ISIS. This is Hamas infrastructure continues to be bombed in Gaza. The death toll in Israel and Gaza continues to climb. Black smoke rising over Gaza from Israeli airstrikes, where the death toll has reached over 1,000, and the UN says 263,000 people have been displaced. Power is out in Gaza, the main hospital at full capacity. As Hamas rockets continue to fly towards southern Israel, the difficult work of searching homes wiped out by Hamas terrorists continues. Reports of bodies everywhere, including women and children. 1,200 Israelis have been killed, 2,900 injured. It's not a battlefield. It's a massacre. Deborah and Shlomi Matthias were killed when Hamas terrorists broke into their family's kibbutz on Saturday. Their 16-year-old son, Rotem, survived. The terrorists shot, opened the door, shot. They threw a grenade or something. It exploded. The last thing my dad said is he lost his arm and... Then my mom died on top of me. ABC's Matt Gutman in Ashkelon, Israel, taking cover from Hamas rockets. Those are interceptors taking out the Hamas rockets. The U.S. is working with Egyptian and Israeli counterparts to secure the safe passage out of Gaza. One American citizen in Gaza trying to evacuate with her three children, telling ABC News she feels abandoned by the U.S. embassy. They say we're going to get you, but they don't. we don't hear anything uh, from them. 22 Americans have died, according to the State Department, and 17 are missing. There is no justification for terrorism. Aziza Hassan, the executive director of Newground, a Los Angeles-based Muslim-Jewish partnership for change, is Palestinian and tells Eyewitness News it's important that Muslims show up for Jews and vice versa. There are humans. Um, on both sides, in all places, whatever a side is, but the, the path forward is together. It's not isolating and letting our hearts harden because we need to be able to stop the pain. And the first plane of U.S. ammunition landed in Israel earlier today. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.